Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. We've been doing some fun optical illusion rocks and I know some of them might be a little intimidating. So the rock that I'm sharing today only is half the rock with the optical illusion. So it might be a little bit easier for beginners to tackle and feel brave enough to try. It's a fun landscape that's created using this obstacle, obstacle, optical illusion. Try to say that five times in a minute. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so we're going to do a similar rock to this, but I'm just going to change it up to give you a different design that you could use it for. Um, these optical illusion rocks are really fun to do, but uh, you can use your imagination and turn them into something else. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is lay out some lines on our rock. I've got my post-it notepad here. I use this a lot when I'm doing lines on rocks because it bends and grooves into um, the shape of the rock really well. So I'm gonna give myself a horizon line here. Go straight across the rock, all the way left to right. Okay, now I'm gonna give myself a circle spot, just freehand it on there. You can fix the shape a little bit when you're filling things in later. And then I'm going to split this top half into um, sections. So you can do as many sections as you want to. Um, uh, sometimes the closer together things get, the tighter together they get, um, it will help the illusion pull off. Here I've got four, I might try to squeeze five sections into here. But give yourself a center point that you're working towards always. Um, they don't have to be even in size either, so you can play around with that a little bit. Um, so we're just gonna go from the point out to the upper edge and we're just gonna split this up. Like I said, I'm not gonna measure things out too much as long as my lines are straight and all going to the same point. Now there's my middle point, but I'm gonna start at the edge of the circle and then go out to the edge like so. So I place my pen down first on that point, then lift it because that actually brings the thickness of the pen into part of your line, which will make it more accurate. One, two, three, four, this will make it into five. There we go. All right, so once you've got that on there, we're gonna go and we're gonna fill in our sections. I've got yellow and orange here, I'll probably possibly need a second coat of both of these before we add to the design. So I'm going to speed part of this up um, so you don't have to just sit and watch me color in, especially since I'm going to do two coats. So we're going to do orange, orange, orange into those sections there. And we're going to do uh, yellow and yellow, and then we're going to do yellow in here like so. And then we're also going to do green on the bottom part of this rock as well. So I'll get this all colored in, I'm gonna let it dry really well, and then we'll be back. Okay, so we're getting dry here. I did a couple coats of each color. We're gonna start to um, add our black lines onto our rock again. So if you need to pull out something to trace, go for it. I'm just gonna freehand over the top of my lines here first. I'm gonna go along all of them. Gosh, I'm a little bumpy here. Maybe I should have grabbed my notepad. There we go. Now you need to decide which layers you want to go in which direction. So I'm gonna start with my orange and I'm gonna arch my lines up and away from the sun center here. So like so up and away like that all the way back trying to be consistent with the arch like so now we're going to go the opposite style of arch the next space over so we're going to go arching this direction inward. We're starting each of our arches 
from one of the lines. Like that. And we're going to go back the other direction on the orange. And we're going to continue this all the way across to our rock. Okay, once you've got those all the way long, we're gonna add in a little bit of our shading. So as you can see, we got the stripes on all the colors. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go along each one of the lines this way, and then we're also gonna do some shading around the center of our sun here. Now it doesn't take much black, and since we just laid our black down, it's not even probably super dry. So I've got a brush back here sitting in water. I'm going to dry off the whole thing because it was sitting in water. I don't want a bunch of water up inside the casing of my brush. And then I'm gonna go back in in a second and just get the very tip lightly wet and then dry it on my rag here. So what I'm gonna do here, I'll start in a section you'll be able to see really well. We'll start right here. I'm just gonna dot a couple bits of black on here along there. Again, right into the water. I'm watching from the side so I don't get the metal wet. Dab it off on my towel here. Then I'm just gonna wiggle the tip of my brush along that black line. Give it a second to kind of loosen up the ink or the paint. Just wiggle right along that line. There we go, and then just kind of pull it away. Look at just that nice little shadow. And we can build it up and make it a little bit darker here. We just want to start with a nice light one so that that light comes and pulls away. And we'll do the opposite side here. Again, dash, dash, dash. Just adding a little bit of fresh paint there. Dab just the tip into the water there. And we're going to wiggle along that line to kind of loosen up that paint just a little bit. If you feel like it's getting too wet, go ahead and dry off that brush a little bit more. Just trying to have a very light shadow here to help pull off our optical illusion. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to do that on each section of my stone. And what I'm going to do though, I'm, I'm not going to go right back into this because I don't want this to pull away. I want to let this first shadow dry. So I'm going to skip over that one and head right over here first. And then I'll come back to the other side once it's dry. All right, so we've got all the rays done. I am going to do a slight shadow here on the edge of this and along the bottom just to complete our look here. And then we are going to ooh, call this one finished. So this is just a fun way to play around. Like this design is a very common um, optical illusion that you'll find online if you like Google op art or optical illusions. So I thought it'd be fun to give it a little bit of a spin to turn it into an actual scene as opposed to just the illusion on the rock. So giving it this fun sun flare to it makes it a little bit different and unique. Now when I was doing some of my shading I did catch a couple places on my stripes where I pulled up a lot of that black. So you can go back in with one more layer of your black, especially in the seams to give it a nice dark shadow space at the tightest part of the seam. But it's very forgiving design here because you can go back in and fix your mistakes easily and since there's that shadowy corner like I said before where we kind of got off on our lines you can't even tell anymore so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it's inspired you to give an op 
optical illusion style rock a try. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And we will be back soon with another fun rock painting tutorial for you. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Bye-bye.